I'm not judging Cloud on its design ability. I'm judging on like how is it cheese and solves this problem. And obviously, what's so great is that it's going to provide some really good recommendations and options. So these are just a couple of examples that you know we kind of explored and looked at. But also, you know, what does that look like? And so this is where the power of prototyping what AI kind of comes in is like it creates this fully fleshed mock-up and UI for. Folks, welcome to Sneak Peek. This is Jay, and today with me, I have Hamid, who's the head of design at Jump, a startup, and he's going to show us how he uses Claude as part of his design workflow. Hamid, super stoked to have you on here. Thank you so much, Jay, for having me. So the first thing I really want to ask you is if you can show designers, like, why even bother, like, using Claude? Like, what's, why not just stick to the current way of doing stuff? which is like just in a Figma, we keep designing and, and that's it. Yeah, that's a great question. I asked myself that question too, but I mean, I think AI has come a long way, especially now that you've been given so much context about your organization, your process. Also, you're dumping all your thinking and ideas into it too. So it could really be almost like a design partner in a way. And I think that's especially important when you work in small design organizations. You know, at Jump, there's, you know, two or three of us any time, you know, someone's either on pad leave, someone's on vacation. So it's not always, you know, ability to kind of lean in with a design partner to kind of just work through anything that comes up in terms of the projects and work. And so kind of just had this idea, like probably many others that watch is like, why don't you leverage AI to, as kind of like a design partner? So it's going to show you a, a small example, but you can imagine that there's a ton of ways and even bigger projects that you could apply this to. But for us, here's kind of like a simple one, which was about um, how do we work through a new kind of requirement that comes in? And and obviously, again, there's this great inspiration sites like Dribble or Mobbin that you can look at. But, you know, sometimes there's just not that specific example that you're looking for. So this is where I think AI also can be leveraged just like to kind of fill any gaps of something that you may have not come across or seen through competitive audits and, and things like that. So for us at Job, we are, we're looking to one kind of new constraint that could have came in for us is as we we're building basically an, a, a card um, as you would purchase any kind of like e-commerce, but for purchasing different seats to an event. So this is our example teams, Miami Gecko and Dev for Bighorns, but essentially, especially for people who are looking to buy group sales and tickets, they might need to buy different combinations of seats in different sections or, or rows in the same section. And so we, we want to be able to kind of unlock that ability. And so this was kind of a early design that we had, which essentially kind of accomplishes that. So you have the event and the different seats and sections that you're purchasing to. But one thing that we also have to kind of account for is that tickets can be priced at varying prices. So you might not have all four seats cost $20 each. You might have one that costs 10, you might one cost that 50, especially when you get into the world of like a child ticket versus an adult ticket, different pricing sometimes. So this actually how we display the number of tickets and the cost is not actually accurate. So obviously for us as design is trying to figure out, okay, like how do you break down that price so that, you know, you don't confuse fans with something like this when in reality, each ticket costs a different price. And so this was a good one and a simple one to send to kind of Claude here where you obviously see the result, but you just kind of work with it and collaborate with it. So for me, it's like, okay, I stuck that screenshot in the Claude give it the context that like, Hey, like we need to be able to break down pricing for each seat in this cart. Each seat will possibly have a different price type, which is an example of like a child ticket versus an adult ticket. And how would you display that? And obviously what's so great is that it's going to provide some really good recommendations and options. So these are just a couple of examples that, you know, we kind of explored and looked at, but also, you know, what does that look like? And so this is where the power of prototyping with AI kind of comes in is like, it creates this fully fleshed mock-up and UI for, 
for your knees. And like, yeah, it obviously doesn't look great, but I'm not, I'm not judging Cloud on his design ability. I'm judging on like, how is it cheese and solves this problem? And so, you know, ultimately the example you saw, like didn't really look close to this because obviously we have different things and styles and patterns that we already define, but the I- idea of here of seeing this now broken down as a kind of toggle that kind of breaks the individual price tickets down was really interesting. It's like that solves the problem perfectly in a really easy and I think intuitive way that I think would make sense for our needs. And essentially that kind of gets to our world. It's like, great. Like we already kind of have patterns for expanding collabs and how to show additional sections within this kind of card UI here. And so for us, like, yeah, we got to show section, rows, seat, and actual price type. But most importantly, how do we break down the cost? And so for us, that's how we kind of accomplish that. So if you look at kind of like what Claude kind of provided and ultimately what we, what we shipped is something more closer to this, but, uh, you know, for us just using, using Claude and AI as kind of a design partner, a quick gut check. And even sometimes like, Hey, great. Like we know this is the solution, but like let's stress test it. And so, you know, you can also look at it as a partner in terms of like, did you make a good decision? Have you thought about all the ramifications of your decision? That's where I think, you know, really you can tap into, you know, AI. So I like this workflow. You're exporting the screen from Figma, importing it in Claude, asking it to how it's going to solve the problem. But then when it Claude gave this output, you basically just recreated the screen in Figma, right? Using your design system. Yeah, yeah. So instead of trying to prompt your way to get King Claude to do it, you didn't mess with that. You just were like, it's probably faster for you to create that again in Figma than having Claude achieve that. Yeah, I think, I mean, we haven't trained. I mean, this is also, I wouldn't say maybe Claude is the perfect tool or platform to try to train it on our design system where maybe a Claude code or a different, AI agent would probably, and, and tool would probably be better. But for us, since a lot of these components exist, uh, it's much quicker for us to just mock it up than trying to kind of like force, you know, Claude in this example to like nail it perfectly. Can you, we have incredible engineers here at Jump. I, could I just share a quick loom or a GIF or send the link to them and they would pr- get it pretty quickly? Yeah. Like. There, there's also that, you know, ability that like in some organizations, like working quickly and just getting the idea out and trusting that your fellow partners know how to implement it because you have you know, probably a defined design system and documentation. Like you, you could honestly just share this and that, and, and that works too. So, you know, for us, we just wanted to make sure that the flows and moths reflected all those kind of updates that we were doing. So following up on that. What you, when you did the handoff with the engineering team, did you share with them your recreated designs in Figma or did you just share with them the prototype link to what Claude generated for shipping this feature? Yeah, I mean, in this example, it was just, we, we are already doing the work for this project. So anything that we designed prototype existed in the Figma file uh, using our existing design component and using Figma prototype. Okay, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Hamid for showing how we use Claude as a design partner on Sneak Peek. No problem, thank you. Hey, this is Jay. It means the world to me that you watch this video. If you want to unlock the AI design and growth to design interviews with designers at some of the top companies in the world, then head on over to sneakpeek.design and subscribe to the newsletter.